Before that, thousands left without electricity after storm batters northeast United States. Hello and welcome to It's Tomorrow News. I am Hena Talati. At least four people were killed in the deadly United States East Coast storms that started in Florida. The massive storm barreled through the northeast on Monday causing power outages, flooding and flight delays. On Tuesday morning, over 600,000 people were left without electricity and the East Coast residents were put on flood watch. As the rivers continue to swell up, flood warnings continue for the central main area. It could take up to several days for the central main power to restore electricity for all the customers. And similarly, in the Massachusetts, over 130,000 residents were left without electricity on Tuesday. The United States National Weather Service said that the storms have brought widespread heavy rain leading to the river and flash floods. NWS revealed that some areas were experiencing road washouts and the winds reached terrifying speeds up to nearly 70 miles per hour or 113 kilometers per hour along the southern England shoreshine. New England is also affected by the brutal storm with the schools across the region being forced to remain closed citing delays in the crisis due to the bad road conditions. The severe weather conditions have caused 4,900 delayed flights and 500 cancelled flights on Monday. Multiple deaths related to the storms have also been reported. According to the BBC, a 72-year-old woman was the first confirmed victim who was killed after she was struck in a vehicle submerged in the flood. Another victim who died in a flood-related incident was 73-year-old Ellen Ray Nolt from Pennsylvania. According to the coroner's office, North's vehicle was submerged in the high water. On Monday, an 89-year-old man died after his trailer was hit by a tree knocked down due to the strong winds. He suffered severe head trauma according to the officials. An unnamed 40-year-old man died in Maine, Windham, after the tree fell on him as he tried to clean debris from the roof of his house. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.